pass him. Look at that thing right there, man. You see that right there? David Booth, Kansas Memorial Stadium, man. Ain't no place like it. Ain't no place like it. Found him again. <laughs> Real deal, no, man. One of them days, man. Dog days. Dog days. Dog days of camp. Hey, straight up field, make the last man miss. With training camp in full swing, the Jayhawks have their heads down and eyes on the prize. It's kind of like those grind days, you know, where you got to really just lock in and give all you can. It's like you've been doing the same thing every single day and your body starts getting tired, you start to get sore. You know, it's not gonna always be cupcakes and ice cream, you know. You're gonna have bad days. It's gonna be days where it's gonna hurt. You don't wanna do it, but you have to. Camp is a challenge, right? Uh, it's a challenge at any level of football. It's almost a rite of passage to go into the season. The work they put in this year was literally more than the work they put in the year before. From the amount of reps and conditioning, to the amount of reps and sets, to the amount of periods and practice potentially, the bar has risen and we got to meet it, match it, and continue to elevate it on a daily basis. You're going into a 13-week, 12-game season. There's a unique balance between the physicality that we're going to need to play with, but also making sure we can be as healthy and fresh as possible. As the intensity of camp continues to rise, so does the competition among players. One of the biggest challenges is, you know, accepting where you're at on the team. And, you know, that's a real challenging time for, for some people personally. You know, sometimes they don't play, sometimes they do. You're around each other every single day, all day, for probably 12 hours out the day, honestly. Tension started to build or whatever, you get to competing every day, and I think that's the beauty of it, honestly, because at the end, it's all for, the, like, for a great cause. You, you know, you go against the same guy or guys in practice, that gets to be old, it's monotonous, it gets frustrating. It, it gets hard, but I think that's, that's the whole point of it, to make it hard so it'd be easier in the end. Luckily, when the rigors of practice begin to take a toll, the athletes have a source of support and recovery. My name is Trent Carter. I'm the director of athletic training for football. We understand football athletic injuries. Uh, we understand our team. Stacy Potter, and I am the director of performance nutrition with football. I handle all food, nutrition, and supplements with the guys. Me and my staff are there every single day to make sure the guys are fueled, hydrated, and ready to go for each practice or lift that they are going through to make sure that they are getting the specific nutrition that they individually need in order to perform at the highest level. We spend anywhere from six to seven hours a day with, with our student athletes, depending on, on what they have going on. Get on the foam rollers, get in the stretch cage. We'll get them um, in our hot tubs, cold tubs, things like that. The nutrition department works very closely with strength and conditioning and athletic training. We talk to each other on a daily basis and we make sure that everything we are doing is cohesive. So it's been really awesome to see the development and the passion come back to life here at Kansas. To stay sharp for the season, the Jayhawks need more than just healthy bodies. They need healthy minds. I just wanted to say hey. Whatever, hey, we can right now. Yeah, I love you too, boy. Hey, Slee, what uh, bus I'm on, though? Oh, so I'm, I'm first one for sure. Yes, sir. You know, we just took our day off to come, you know, just come see what Kansas City has to offer, you know. Um, it's good to just get out. Yes, sir. We out, man. Get away from the grind for a second, you know, get our minds on other things, and been good quality time together, man. So we're around here in this plaza, you know, going to different shops, different ice cream places, restaurants. What mistake did the astronaut make? He spaced out. He didn't consider the gravity of this situation. <laughs> yes, sir. Now it's time to go eat. It's a microphone. Hello. How are you? It gives us a chance to interact with each other outside of the sport we play. You know, we get to understand different parts of each other, man. See what other people are into as far as fashion or things like reading books or something like that, you know what I'm saying? It's just important to see different sides of people so it just makes us closer overall.
It's like the first day of school, but it's the last day of camp for me, man. Hey. I'm a little sentimental today, man. Different vibes, man. We're gonna have a great day today, man. With the bonds of brotherhood firmly in place, the team inches closer to the 2023 season, bearing the most important asset, trust. Let's go, man, last one, now it's go time. It's all go time now. No excuses, we know the expectation. Let's get it. Let's play, let's play some ball. Being around your brothers, you know, group of guys you're going to battle with, you know, that's what's the fun part. No matter the score, no matter the circumstances, no matter the weather, like, we got each other back, no matter what. Fourth down, they believe we can make a stop. They're going to trust you. They're going to believe you on the field. If I can trust you, you'll be all right. It's sort of an evolutionary process. The closer we get, the more we're kind of getting into a game week mode. We'll hit it with both feet on the ground running. The joy in what we're doing together, those are the things that you want guys to take away for the rest of their lives. We have a very close bonded football team. This team can't let outside things affect it. You just kind of smell kickoff coming down the road. We need to find a way to get off to a good start and find a way to win a football game. Right.